Uh, my name is Lyndon de Cruz. I'm a retinal surgeon and medical retinal specialist at Moorfields Eye Hospital, a large specialty hospital in London. I have uh, trained in retinal surgery and research into severe vision loss and its treatments over the past few years. And I currently run a large number of research interests, predominantly in the treatment of profound vision loss with the artificial retina and stem cells at Moorfields as well as running a clinical practice in retinal surgery and retinal diseases. For people who have conditions that are untreatable, it escalates to a very powerful area because I think it's difficult for someone who's well-sighted to realize how frustrating it is to have a problem, especially a profound vision problem, where for years and years and years you hear the mantra, I'm afraid you've got X or Y, and there's nothing we can do about it. This is an extremely difficult thing to cope with, no matter how well you cope with it, no matter how well you deal with your life, you're always wanting a, a change in that. And so when something like the Argos 2 trial comes along, the ability to take a group of people who've lived for decades sometimes with the understanding that there's nothing for them, there's no hope for them, there's no treatment, it's too severe, there's nothing for them, to, to finally discuss with them that there's a chance that we may be able to help them is quite an extraordinary moment. I think as a human interaction, it's very powerful. As a, as a doctor where your primary interest is in people and helping them, it's a very important time. And for the patients them, themselves, as a human need that someone's interested, that someone's working on things for you, is very important. And these people respond conversely by saying, well, listen, okay, I understand it's an early one, it may not help me, but I'd like to contribute as well. There's, there's a great sense of a, a collaboration between the patients, the doctors, and the research workers in moving things forward. I think people feel that they're part of something, and this is very important as well. So, and I think this comes into your practice. I mean, people with profound vision loss walk into your practice, uh, and they are extremely excited when the lie, they're always expecting to hear, there's nothing for you, I'm afraid you've got this. Uh, and they always leave with saying, well, I thought I'd just come and check just in case. But when you do actually give them something, it's an extraordinary moment. It's very, very enlightening. It's very moving in some cases. And certainly when you go on and treat these people, those first mornings when we turn the device on and uh, they get a phosphine, they look at the window and they see it's brighter, very special moments. Uh, they are very touching. It's humbling to be there. It's for everyone there, no matter how small a part they played, it's a very, it's a very special time.